Hey, my sweet babies. So, um, it took me a minute to say what I'm getting ready to say because I want to make sure I'm not saying it in judgment. And I want to make sure I'm saying it from a place of love. Y'all, some of y'all have given me the title of auntie. And I'm honored that y'all do that, right? But there are times where auntie got to talk to her babies and say some real shit. So yesterday I was in the airport in Atlanta because I'm in Jackson, Mississippi now at Chuckles Comedy Club, right? And we got three shows tonight. We got a matinee at 530, then we got seven, then we got 10, right? And I'm excited. I always love going to the stage. So when we got to the airport yesterday, I was excited like, all right, baby, let's go get them in Jackson, Mississippi. And as we begin to walk through the airport, I saw so many, actually too many to count and too many for me to tap. But I saw so many of our young sisters in head bonnets, scarves, slippers, pajamas, blankets wrapped around them. And this is how they're showing up to the airport. And it, I've been seeing it, not just at the airport, I've been seeing it at the store, at the mall. I've been seeing sisters showing up with these bonnets and head scarves and their slippers. And the question that I'm having to you, my sweet babies, when did we lose pride in representing ourselves? When did we step away of let me make sure I'm presentable when I leave my home? Let me make sure I'm representing the family I created so that if I'm out in the street, I look like I have pride in myself. And I'm not saying no full face of makeup. I'm not saying no full front lace frontal. I'm not saying none of that. All I'm saying is, could you please comb your hair? And if you don't want to comb your hair, they got enough shit out here now, baby, where you can style yourself up and look like you have pride. I'm not saying you don't have pride, but the representation that you're showing someone would have to ask you to know that you had it. So my sweet babies, for the ones that do call me auntie, I love you for real. Even the ones that don't, I love y'all asses too. But the babies that say auntie to me, please listen to auntie. Always have pride in your representation of you. It's not to get a man, it's not, it is just your representation of you, my sweet babies. So. I'm just giving y'all a warning. If I see you in the streets, in the airport, in the Walmart, and you got a bonnet on and you got slippers on and you looking like, what the fuck? A Nikki gonna tap you and say, hey, baby girl, show you what you worth. Show you what you deserve. So all of those posts that you see celebrities putting out there saying, hey, queen, hey, queen, hey, queen. Well, can we start putting it into action? So I'm asking our wiser sisters, when we see our little babies out there looking like they just don't care, and I'm not saying y'all don't, it looks like it. Can we just tap them and say, baby girl, you deserve more than what you're showing represent you with pride, my babies. And that may be a part of us helping our community. Because if you look like you don't give a damn, how are you going to be treated? So when I say, hey, queen, I can only say it to the sisters that it belongs to. Because a lot of us are still in queen training. So if you're in queen training, stop being fearful of taking your position. And queens don't walk around with bonnets and headscarves and slippers and pajamas. That's for the house. When you go outside, represent you, baby, like you are worthy and you deserve the title of Hey Queen. I Nikki love y'all for real. And I ain't never going to BS you. Stop wearing them damn bonnets and head scarves looking like don't nobody give a damn about you, nor do you give a damn about yourself. Because you're beautiful. So represent it. 
I love y'all for real, my babies.